What is up YouTube, my name is John, I'm not gonna waste any of your time, we're gonna get into Burger Kill Integral Drum Playthrough, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name, but by Burger Kill's drummer. I've been drumming myself for quite a couple of years, I'm no professional, but I love to, you know, see drummers do their thing and talk about it, so let's just jump straight into the song. Also, if you subscribe to my channel, you're gonna find some money on the floor tomorrow, 100% guaranteed. Let's go, Burger Kill Integral Drum Playthrough with, let's try Putra Pra Ramadan. Let's go. I haven't even heard the song, so yeah. Also, I'm gonna stop it a lot because, first of all, copyright stuff. I'm gonna talk over it. We're gonna go through stuff that I find interesting and all that kind of jazz, you know. Hope you're having a great day, by the way. Just need to see if I'm even recording. And yeah. That's a whole lot of building. Oh man, I used to play drum uh, drum shows, live shows, so I do know how this feels when you have to do it all alone because the singer doesn't want to help. Oh shit, here we go. All right. First of all, I'm just gonna take a quick look at the setup here. Just gonna go a little bit back, maybe I can see it a little bit better right here. Okay, so we have some minor symbols, two Chinas on every side, that is... That can be a very powerful if you use it correctly. Like, sometimes people tend to overuse that kind of stuff and they just go, you know, double bass and just... Chinas everywhere, man, but I believe that this man is gonna do it justice, hopefully. And yeah, minor symbols are awesome, man. I used to use them when I was playing acoustic drums, but not anymore. Because I'm playing electronic. Thumbs are sounding thick. Right, a little nice tum tum fill with alternation on the left and right hand. Some quick. Ooh, yeah, there we go, the double china action. Ooh! Hmm. Oh, those, those clean, clean, quick double bass. Just. Mmm, that is clean as hell. Love it. Not easy to get right, especially when you're a beginner. Mmm. It's a very punkish, hardcore-ish kinda, almost metalcore kinda like vibe to this whole beat. Can work in a lot of genres. Oh, now that is an interesting beat. Now this bit right here, if I just went down to my drum set and tried to play that, I'll be like, nope, I hate playing beats like this because it is just, it just feels like I'm going, you know, against something. It's like, you shouldn't be playing this, but the song needs it, so you should play it, and I'm like, eh. Anyway, I really love how he's filling up the space, you know, with all these simple hits and just doesn't leave all that much, you know, empty spaces. Just nice, quick, not overly technical fills, but it just works for the song. Let's go! It's just a matter of, you know, getting that muscle memory in. God, I mean, I need to practice again. <laughs> Ooh. Also getting those ghost notes in. Uh, in case you don't know what ghost notes are, that is, you know, those really... Uh, silent notes on the snare that you play, you know, between the main big ones, the main big hits. So if you, we just go a little bit back and if you just watch his snare work, you can see that he's doing those little silent notes in between the big ones. And those are ghost notes. See? Really busy on the snare. Loving it. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, back to this beat that I would hate to play. Also, sometimes you see drummers that they have like two hi-hats, like usually who have just one hi-hat on the left side, like when you see rock drummers and maybe even like jazz drummers and all this kind of stuff, you see that they have just one hi-hat usually on their left side, or if you are a lefty, then you have it on the right side. But sometimes, you know, especially like chord drummers and especially drummers who use a lot of double bass uh, and they play hi-hat 
with like some really, you know, fast double bass kind of stuff. They have a hi-hat on, you know, their right side or if you're left on your left side. And it is usually an maybe a closed or open hi-hat. Maybe there's like a specific pedal that they have hidden somewhere down there. But it is, I believe, a lot more comfortable to play, you know, if you're playing this and you're going double bass, it's a little bit unco uncomfortable, at least personally for me. But yeah, I think that playing with your hand on the right side, or if you're left on the left side, uh, on the hi-hat is a little bit more comfortable. But I'm talking too much, let's get a little bit forward in the song. So it feels like you're playing a, you know, a crash cymbal or something. Ooh. Man, be... Right, getting a bit, a little bit more of a straightforward riff. I mean, drum beat, not a riff. <laughs> god damn it! I just need to go back a little bit. This Tom right here, oh my god, that is a big boy. That's gotta be at least, man, that's gotta be at least 16 inch, and this is like 18. I don't even know. You guys can tell me down in the comments, but th those are big boy toms, okay? And also this effect symbol right here, you know the. One crash looking symbol with the holes in it. Sometimes it sounds like a, a little bit of a smaller china and I just really enjoy the sounds of those. Even though I never actually really played, but when people play it and I use it right, it's just so goddamn good. Mm. Yeah, getting back into that. Punkish hardcore, hardcore beat. Mm. Oh, tasty, tasty. You can just right here, you can see just how fast he uses all of the symbols. Just watch this. <laughs> Everything. Oh. We're slowing down a little bit. Oh, he's really getting busy on those ghost notes right there. Oh man, I really love the little, little pause right here. That's uh, very tasteful. Hmm. <laughs> Another pause right there. That is just so goddamn musical when you put a nice pause. You know, sometimes the silence is the best thing that you can put in. Even though you're a drummer and you want to beat the shit out of the drums, okay? Sometimes just stop for a second and let the music breathe, then get back into the beat. That even rhymed and sometimes it's just really freaking awesome. <laughs> it was very tasteful and music, I really like that part. Mmm. Switching in between all those symbols to really, really give it all the different flavors. Ooh. Nice. Oh, fuck yeah. This man has a really good thing of putting a lot of things really fast out there into the song without it sounding like you know garbage without it sounding like oh man look at me i can do all this crazy shit no he just put puts it there because it's musical and it fits the song and that is so goddamn good let's move on <laughs> also i need his shoes maybe that'll make me a better double bass drummer Back to this beat! Oh yeah, get in those double bass tom fills. You know, let me ju just go a little bit back. You hear these quick, just double bass tom fills. I don't know, I, I probably didn't go back enough, but... 
it's just alternating between quick double bass strokes. Oh, that was cool. Okay, just also listen to the double bass right here, you know, he's just going straight forward, you know, you know yeah, steady beat, steady beat on those double bass drums, but he's sometimes, he just, you know, kicks it up a notch and speeds it up a little bit. And that is also something that is, trust me, not easy to do, especially if you are a beginner. Holy crap, if you are a beginner, then to play this would be really freaking impressive, okay? But anyway, just to throw in that little quick part and then go back, you know, to the original sounding part. Not easy. Impressive. There we go. And again. Ooh, fuck yeah. <laughs> there we go, that was Burger Kill Integral drum playthrough with Putra Pre uh, Ramadhan. Okay, my man is really talented, really knows, you know, uh, when to put in that hardcore punkish beat that we had going. That little bit that I hate it, you know, very metalcore-ish. <laughs> and also, you know, when the slunk, uh, slunk, right, song kind of slows down, it's also really cool that, you know, he still uses those ghost notes to really create a really nice texture, you know, behind for the song and doesn't overplay anything and he adds in those little pauses to, you know, really make it stand out, really make it musical and I was also really digging the sound of the drum set itself, you know, really nicely mic'd up and just sounding great. Symbols, I might have some things, you know, to say there, like, I think that the red symbol and sometimes the China symbol can be cutting through a little bit, you know, more intensely, but that is just a little nitpick. The drum set itself, you know, the toms, the double bass sounded really massive, and actually, you know, the snare, the snare is something that I can get really critical about, but Sometimes, you know, I've heard a lot of these, you know, super tight snares and this one just had you know, a little bit of a deeper sound, but I really enjoyed it. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my little reaction to Burger Kill Integral Drum Playthrough with Putra Pra Ramdhan. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little analysis video, whatever. Drum nerd out. You can call it whatever you want. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff because as you know, there is always more videos coming your way. And if you feel like talking to me outside of YouTube, there are links to my social medias down in the description below this video as well as a link where you can directly support my channel and what I do here, either on PayPal or on Patreon. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you Burger Kill. Thank you Putra Pra Ramadhan. I probably butchered your name like 10 times in this video and I'm extremely sorry about that, but thank you for being an awesome drummer and I will see you all in the next video. So have a nice day, evening, night or whatever you have right now. Cheers!